Randy Pitchford, ladies and gentlemen. Ha! Ah. Ah, USB sticks. Ah. Skip it up and that up. So Randy Pitchford, the CEO of Gearbox Software, how can I put this the best way? Uh, he's an interesting guy. And I don't mean that in, from a positive standpoint. I don't necessarily know if I would call him a scumbag yet, but he's done some questionable things. The former lawyer who accused Randy of a billion different things, he was the lawyer for Gearbox Software from 2011 to 2018, Wade Callender. All of this was thrown out, um, but he accused Randy of taking a $12 million bonus and pocketing it back in 2016 instead of sharing it with employees. Whether that's true or not is still up in the air because like I said, he was a disgruntled lawyer and he was pissed off at Randy and trying to get back at him. There's also the infamous USB stick that Randy had at the Medieval Times, um, which contained documents and also interesting porn. There was supposed to be underage stuff on there that was also thrown out, but there was porn on the USB stick. And Randy said he had it on the USB stick because what the woman was doing in there was magical and he likes magic tricks. So a grown man was carrying around a USB stick of porn. Look, okay, I watch porn. Most of you probably watch porn. Intro guy watches porn. <laughs> But it's how you watch the porn that makes it questionable. Why would I wouldn't go, oh man, this is some great porn I got here. Let me download it and put it on a USB stick. Why would you do that? It's just weird. It just makes me scratch my head. There's a lot of ways to watch adult material out there. And Randy carried it with him while he was eating at a medieval times. That's weird. That's really weird. Well, anyway, one of the incentives for developers and employees to work at Gearbox Software is you are supposed to get big bonuses, big quarterly bonuses. You, the wage they get is actually below average, but when there is a successful game, you can make a ton of money. And that profit sharing is usually most of the time at Gearbox split 60, 40, 60 goes back into the company and 40 is split up amongst the employees. And like I said, that, that comes in quarterly bonuses. Now Gearbox actually touted this as a way to recruit new employees and developers to work there saying, hey, you may not make the same median salary, but our quarterly bonuses when we do well are so good, other employees have bought houses and, and you could do really well. And Borderlands 3, did phenomenally well. It was released late last year and it made the franchise become bigger than ever. As a matter of fact, Borderlands 3 in its first five days on the market sold 5 million units, which made it generate more than $1 billion in net bookings. And it became the second franchise in 2K history to achieve this milestone. This is actually coming from a 2K press release. That's where I'm citing this from. So the game has made a ton of money. So that quarterly bonus for employees should be huge, right? <laughs> no, it's actually going to be much smaller than they expected. And a lot of employees over at Gearbox are screwed right now. And why is this? Well, I'm going to quote from Kotaku.com, quote Gearbox's statement, and say why I still think it's shady. The game has sold very well. We expect lifetime unit sales to be a record for the series, said Strauss Zelnick, the CEO of 2K parent company Take Two, on an earnings call in February. But it costs way too much to make. One large factor was a technology swap midway through development from the Unreal Engine 3 to Unreal Engine 4, which added a great deal of time to the project. In addition, before Gearbox could receive any royalties from publisher 2K, Borderlands 3 would have to recoup not just the game's entire budget, around 95 million, but also the budget for all of the downloadable content for a sum closer to 140 million, thanks to a contract that the two companies had signed. And Randy said to his employees, well, hey, if you aren't happy with this royalty system in the middle of a crisis where you're gonna have to feed your families and it would be impossible to find a job right now with unemployment rates going sky high, if you don't like the fact that you got screwed over and you don't like our royalty system, you could just quit. Okay, maybe Randy is kind of a douche and 
Uh, he, yeah, he is a scumbag. This is not a sex worker. This is a fucking magician. Well, anyway, Gearbox gave a very milk toast vanilla comment trying to damage control this, and this is what they had to say. Borderlands 3 represents an incredible value to gamers and an incredible achievement by the team at Gearbox Software. Our studio is talent-led, and we believe strongly in everyone sharing in profitability. The talent at Gearbox enjoys participation in the upside of our games, to our knowledge, the most generous royalty bonus system in AAA. Since this bonus began, Gearbox Talent has earned over a hundred million in royalty bonuses above and beyond traditional compensation. In the most recent pay period, Gearbox Talent enjoyed news that Borderlands 3, having earned revenue exceeding the largest investment ever made by the company into a single video game, had officially become a profitable video game, and the talent at Gearbox that participates in the royalty bonus system has now earned their first royalty bonus on that profit. Additionally, a forecast update was given to the talent at Gearbox that participates in the royalty bonus to set expectations for the coming quarters. Gearbox is a private company that does not issue forward-looking statements to the public but we do practice transparency within our family so basically it's that was just corporate fluff in PR to try to damage control for gearbox I'm sure it was written by a lawyer to be as opaque as possible here's the bottom line Randy gearbox these employees signed up and took a lower wage in hopes that when a successful game is released they're gonna reap the benefits of it and they're not doing that. I don't care that you went from Unreal Engine 3 to Unreal Engine 4, even God of War director, 2018 God of War director, Corey Barlog, he's been involved in other God of Wars too, came out and called out Gearbox Software. You can't screw over people like this. This is the reason they signed up. It isn't a gamble. They signed up and said, okay, I'll take a lower, a below average salary because I know I could reap the benefits of what could come from a very profitable game. Borderlands 3 became a billion dollar global brand, according to 2K, in less than a week. And I'm sure the sales have skyrocketed from there. You can't tell me you can't give a bigger bonus to the developers behind it. This is corporate greed. And look, I know the former lawyer for Gearbox was a shady dude. And the allegations he made against Randy, virtually all of them were thrown out. But when you see things like this and you see Randy Pitchford telling the developers there, oh, if you don't like the fact that we're cutting back significantly on your bonuses, you're getting way less than you expected and you should get. If you don't like that, you could just quit. During a pandemic, you could just quit. Good luck finding another job when unemployment rates are skyrocketing around 30%, if not more. It's just such a, it, it's just a shitty way to be. And he should be ashamed of himself. And I just keep hearing questionable things about this guy, Randy. And when you see things like this, it, it starts to make you believe him. Look, maybe it is, maybe he's the nicest guy on the planet and he just does mag magic tricks and kisses puppies behind the scenes. But between having a USB stick full of colorful things and this and other things I've heard about him, I don't know, man. He just seems like a used car salesman to me that just got lucky. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. This is a fucking magician. Hey, if you enjoy my content, consider becoming a Review Tech USA member. I'll have a link below in the description. I live stream now on this channel all the time, and it gives you access to cool emoticons to use as well while I live stream. Again, link below in the description. Thank you for your continued support.